Hi there, the top story that we'll be debating today is a sensational link that has emerged as far as the investigations into former Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Surena are concerned. Now, the Enforcement Directorate which had raided the Shantiniketan residence of the former Chief Minister of Jharkhand, Hemant Suren, had seized a BMW vehicle. Now, in a dramatic twist of events, it turns out that that particular BMW vehicle was registered in the address of none other than the Member of Parliament of the Congress, Dhirat Sahu, from whose premises the record 350 crore cash haul had taken place just a few months ago. You would remember that episode because it was not just the largest haul, it took several days for the counting of uh, uh, the cash that was seized to take place. In some cases, even the local banks counting machines broke down due to the huge volume of the cash that had to be physically counted during the course of those raids. Now, Times Now has done its own investigation. We've done uh, an investigation at that premises. We've spoken to not just those who are staff of Dhirat Sahu present inside the house who confirm that it is indeed his premises. We've spoken to the neighbors. However, interestingly, the property records do not mention Dhirat Sahu, but one other person by the name of Nishant, who is supposedly the owner of that premises. This is also not a premises that has been declared by Dhirat Sahu in any of his recent election affidavits. So therefore, a big question as to what Dhirat Sahu's own status is as far as that property is concerned and why is it that there is a vehicle being used by Heman Soren which has been registered in an address of Dhirat Sahu. While on the one hand, the BJP says that this is clear proof of the corruption link between the two allies, the JMM and Congress, of course, in power there in Jharkhand. This has been stoutly denied by the JMM. Remember, the JMM's defense thus far has been that it is an Adivasi chief minister who has been targeted. This is something that even Heman Soren has said on the floor of the House of the Jharkhand Assembly during the course of the trust vote debate. What really are the facts as far as this twist is concerned and will this be a significant milestone as far as the investigation is concerned? Those are going to be some of the questions we'll be debating. Do join us at 9.57 this evening.